it is rather full and unorganized as you can see so I think the next thing we're going to be doing is putting the new fridge in maybe this won't work after all I thought it was a good idea let's get on with this temporary pantry makeover hi there and welcome back to a new home video um, I'm absolutely full of cold so I'm gonna apologize in advance because I feel a bit lousy I have decided to just work half a day today joys of working for yourself but I decided to tackle the pantry it's a job we've been meaning to do for the whole of this month and we just haven't got around to doing um, let me just show you a before snapshot and you can understand why it desperately needs doing we moved in here eight weeks ago and we've just been throwing stuff in we don't have any homes for anything the microwave sits on a chair we've got our daughter's trolley from her bedroom behind um we've got um furniture in here from offices my old studio and it is full of hoovers Food, storage, shopping bags. It is rather full and unorganized, as you can see. Not turning it into the forever pantry today because we want to get some proper shelving in there and that's not happening today. But at the same time, I don't want to live like it anymore. It's driving us mad. Can't get in there and find things. And we've also purchased something which has really spurred us on. It was something that we wanted before we even moved into the house. So, excuse the shadowing by the way, it's a very, very sunny day today. We have got fridge freezer there. But we're used to having a huge, big American fridge freezer which now lives in the garage as this is all built in when we moved in and we weren't allowed to change things and have our own fridge freezer in which is great great that we've got the extra space but the garage isn't attached it's detached so it means quite often going out to the garage to get extra things because the fridge is very very small so we decided like i said before we even moved in that we would buy a drinks refrigerator for the pantry we've gone for an under counter one with the idea being that the microwave would live on top we don't use the microwave very often however it does get used now and then so i don't want to be microwave free but we don't want it on the countertop so we thought that'd be the perfect space for it to live in there and then we can put all the extra drinks that are in the fridge in there and maybe even condiments can go in there as well. So it would just help with the extra space. We're really excited. We bought it in the um, after Christmas sales on Amazon. I'll leave the link below and we're really excited to set it up. So we're going to get it in there today, have a really good sort out and hopefully make it a much usable space. I'd also really like to get the Hoover on the wall as well. I bought one that could be mounted on. So I'd like to look at maybe sorting that out as well or at least having a plan for it to go on the wall. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy the video. Please ignore my cold. I feel very bunged up at the moment. Um, but thank you for being here with me. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Um, lots and lots of home content going on at the moment. We have just made a huge life change and moved to the country and we're really excited. We're loving living in our new build and we have got so many more plans for it. It's going to be a fun few years, I think, setting it up to how we really, really want it. So please subscribe to my channel if you don't already. And let's get on with this temporary pantry makeover. First thing I'm going to do is start emptying it. I love having somewhere separate to store my food. I actually have a pantry cupboard, which I love, a really tall, deep cupboard um, between my fridge and my oven. And I actually now store all my tins, all my mason jars, all my kind of like basic cupboard items in there. So I don't need as much space as I used to. My old kitchen, if you remember that, I didn't really have much cupboard space at all and we then turned the downstairs cupboard into a larder it was smaller than this but it worked so well I love my mason jars with flour sugar rice and all that kind of thing so I don't actually keep those here however 
We were really excited about this space when we came to view the house, the show home. Um, we were told that most people turn it into a bit more of a utility room and put their tumble dryer in here. But to be honest, we're using the tumble dryer maybe twice a week. Um, we get all our washing done on the same days. And so for now, that's in the garage. We have no plans to bring that into the house at the moment. And we just knew that we would utilize this space as a pantry a lot more than we would anything else. Um, it's really handy having or going to be having the extra fridge in here but for me I like to stockpile I like to have extra bags of flour extra bags of sugar and all my other bits and pieces I cook loads I cook from scratch every single day so for this the space is going to be so much better as a pantry than anything else have a separate pantry larder space for your food storage do you keep everything in your kitchen cupboards or like me do you like a little bit of a stockpile as well just to know that you've got everything and spare bits and pieces let me know what kind of like organization you have for you your food storage in your home For me, I find the cleaning items a real pain. Um, it would be so nice just to have a separate cupboard for those. I did purposely buy a new Hoover with this cupboard in mind when we were in the old house. I had a cylinder Dyson before, one that rolls around behind you. Had it for years and I had the previous model before that for about 12 years. Really liked that. I didn't, however, like the replacement so much when the old one broke. I didn't like the new version they bought out. So I thought it was time to maybe get a different kind and I wanted one that mounted on the wall, more of like a shark version Hoover, but without the shark price tag, to be honest. So I found an upright, um, I did a video on it previously, um, I've been really happy with it. The suction maybe isn't quite as I would like for carpet, I have to be totally honest, but it's the two of us and I'm hoovering the carpet. We've only got carpet upstairs. I'm hoovering twice a week and it's working out perfectly fine to be honest. But um, for downstairs, it's absolutely brilliant and I like it for the stairs as well because it's not heavy at all. So I do recommend that and I'll leave the link for that down below. But the cleaning products, the hoover, the brooms, the mop, um, dustpan and brush and all that will be living in this cupboard as well. Just gonna give the floor a sweep. Like I said, we've only lived here for eight weeks, so it's not actually too bad. But where I've kept like bags of veg, onions and things, got a few little oniony skinny things. This is where the fridge is going to live. So the idea being you can open the door out nicely and you've got all this extra space. Uh, we do eventually want to get fitted um, shelves all the way down and have it looking really, really pretty. So today is going to be makeshift, but like I said, we do really need an improvement on this because we're just not able to find things at the moment. Uh, we've just had a knock on the door from the site manager to let us know that we've got an electrician coming in the house. Um, we've got a problem with one of our switches in the hallway, so he's about to deal with that. There was something else he's about to deal with as well. Oh, the extractor fan. Um, Got a, prob got a problem with the flute thing outside, so he's gonna put something on that because um, with the extractor fan, when it's really, really cold, it's so cold underneath, and when we've had frost, it actually um, drips. We get water coming down and splashing on the hob, so he's about to do something to help that as well. I'd also like to have something put up on the door. I had a, a blackboard with Monday through to Sunday on it, with space to mark off. That would have been so perfect for my weekly menus. I picked it up from Primark for 50p um, ages ago. Never used it, it sat in my cupboard. I got rid of so much stuff before we moved and so much of it now I'm wishing I had and that is one of the items. It would have been really, really handy now. But I'm thinking a bit of a command center um, in there. Shopping lists, um, weekly, like menu, so I always write a me weekly menu. So um, yeah, I'm thinking that just inside the door eventually. By the way, isn't this weather amazing that we're having at the moment? I'm sure by the time this video goes out, it would be grotty, 
but I am loving the blue skies this week. It may be cold, but doesn't the sunshine just lift your mood? I'm finding even like today, I feel so lousy, but having the blue sky out there just lifts your mood. It gives you the energy to make you want to do these extra jobs. And now I'm just emptying all the back bits and pieces there and um, reminding myself what I've actually got back here because I've already forgotten. Um, I'm also on the crisps. <laughs> I found a bag that was just open. There's the last few in there. So I thought, why not? I like having a snack whilst I'm doing a job like this. So Aid has just sorted out all the sockets in there because we have to carefully have the router up there. Well, so. But you, yeah, it's out, it's, it's out the way. Um, and I've tidied up all this. I was struggling for my big pans. We're, they're just living there. We've also got extra flooring at the moment, which we're keeping down here. Um, so yeah, this is just for makeshift for the moment. So pans have gone under there, so they're still easy reach. Got coffee and things down here and just boxes and the iron, which we don't need at the moment. Um, breakfast cereals are here, I'm not sure. What I'm going to be doing with all this but I am going to be having a tidy up as well so we'll go through that and everything else at the moment is living out here so I think the next thing we're going to be doing is putting the new fridge in I'm really excited we've been so looking forward to getting this little drinks fridge in <laughs> haven't we yes Aid's just having a look at the fridge everything's all taped up as well inside isn't it yes. all the shelves it's on the plug actually Oh, we've got to take it off the post, Yeah, I'm pushing it in first. Yeah. Actually, this one with the one. It's a nice lift, size, actually. Lift one out, bind up, and then do it over. Okay. Yeah. Food to me plays a really big important part of our life. I love the whole cooking, the baking, the planning. I love food shopping. I like to have a good stockpile. So that's why this room is really important to me. I like the feeling that I think, like the other day for example, I wasn't feeling great and I fancied making soup. I had all the ingredients just to quickly throw a soup together. And then in the afternoon, I really fancied an oat and raisin cookie. And again, I just went to my cupboards and I had everything I needed to make oat and raisin cookies. I just like to always have the stock there so that if I fancy something, I can make or bake it. Although I do have a menu and I stick to my weekly menu pretty much, I like to have a good pantry stock of things, so all the cupboard items. So that's why having this extra space works so well for us. go I think that's the perfect little space we've moved it along and for now we're just going to put the hoover and the broom and everything down there so it's out the way because this whole time I've been tripping over it along here so yeah I'm really chuffed with this actually and then we will eventually mount them on the wall when we know exactly what's going where so cleaning bits and pieces are going down there but we will then mount the hoover then I guess the recharger on the wall is that the plan? Yeah, so whether that goes kind of here, but of course we've got to make sure the door opens okay. Yeah, that's true. So, but it could go yeah. here, but then we do plan to put, to have like maybe work, work surface, surface in or here. Something. So yeah. we've got to think if we don't want to have a hoover hanging here. No. So it could well go kind of here. Yeah, so it's out of the way a little bit. I like that idea. Yeah. Right, I think I'm going to pop that there for now. We used to have that full of mugs in our old house. I also want to have a sort out here. I've got all my baking bits and I just feel it's all just a little bit disjointed at the moment so I feel like I want to have a proper sort out here. I do quite like having the bread here, that's quite handy. Ideally I'd like to get the trolley in the cupboard and then take the white box there up to my studio because that's where that originally belonged. So I wonder if I can have a sort out, I've got the bread basket there. I wonder if I can whittle some of this down a little bit so that the containers can go on here. So on here, I had my sweet stuff, syrups, spices, that kind of thing, tea bags, and the rest of it, to be honest, oh, the cereals were on there as well, cheese and crackers and spray cheese. I think I might be able to sort this. This can go in my craft space. And then I think if I reorganize the trolley, so that I can slide it in that space. I wonder if it will fit. But it's basically, it's got lots of cookbooks in it. Um, treats. Treats. 
treats can live there. For example, Ada's parents gave us a great big panettone, which we haven't eaten for Christmas. It's quite bulky. We're not in any hurry to eat it. I'm trying to lose weight at the moment. Um, oh, I've just noticed there's a card on there. Aid, yeah. there's a card here from your mum and dad. Yeah, yeah I hadn't even noticed it. Um, but that, that's a perfect place for it to live under there. It's got little donkeys on. It's a Christmas card from your brother. Oh, I've also got nuts that my mum gave us for the squirrels so they can live on there. Um, extension lead, a spare one, that could live on there as well. Basically bits and pieces that we don't use all the time. I've got spare dishwasher tablets, um, AIDS Ribena, that can all live on there actually. That is quite handy. Actually, that's not going to fit. Um, yeah, this is a handy little space. I've also got spare uh, mopping thing. WD-40. Yeah, I think this is be, this will work well in there. I actually already changed my mind. Still cookbooks in the middle, but this is all cleaning supplies. Underneath, got spare kitchen roll, um, cloths, dishwasher bits and pieces, descaler, and all that kind of thing. I haven't decided what's going on the top yet. Let's see. I don't actually, I'm not even going to get fit that down there, am I? Maybe this won't work after all. I thought it was a good idea. I don't want to leave it on the side because then I can't walk down in between, but I want to get it in that gap. There's only one thing for it. I'm going to empty it and lift it over. I think that's the best option. I haven't even measured it. Sorry? No, it's fine, thank you. I don't want to lift it with stuff on it just in case anything breaks. Um, I haven't measured it. I think I'm going to be able to make it fit. I think it will work fine. There we go. I've made it work. Everything is squished on the end there. I've got my spare glass jars as well. Spare cereal box. And it's gone that way in. This should work out quite well. Let's put these bits and pieces back on it. Right, the true test. Will the Prosecco fit? What do you think? Oh, I hope so. Me too. I could fancy a glass of that. I'm stuffed if it doesn't. I know. You have to open it then. I think we need to buy some more to fill it, don't we? Yeah, exactly. The baby shams will look a bit lost in there, <laughs> wouldn't they? Go down the bottom. <laughs> Yay. Yay, they fit the first nicely. One's in. Yeah, first things in the fridge. <laughs> and I'm removing as much packaging as possible. Aids now. Filling. Does that mean you've unpacked my Weetabix as the well? Fridge with Pepsi. <laughs> Since they're all individual. <laughs> <laughs> Just loose. So the cans fit nicely on the top there. So oh, this is going to be so much nicer than having to keep going so to the garage. Get... Yes, it will for you, won't it? <laughs> I don't think I've been out to the garage once yet. Right, so there's four cans fit in there. Okay. I need to taste them up right as well. Actually, do you want big or little? Big. I, I don't mind yet. Yeah, big. It needs to be big. I am so ready for food. It's now, what is it, about half past five? Yep. Yeah, 20 to six. And I found a packet of cheddars. I love these. I have been eating my way through these whilst packing the larder. And we can now unpack the fridge, which is a good thing because I can't actually reach the top shelf where they are. Aid's been putting one in a day for me. And the reachable yeah, shelf. <laughs> yeah, that's a Lisa one because it's on the side. I can't reach the top shelves. We're bringing in more drinks from the garage. What have you found this time? Ciders. More ciders? Yeah, and some Dr. Peppers and Coke. Oh, is the chair able to go back in the garage as well, please? I'm to do that, yes. Yay, thank you. This is a fun project. So I'm kind of putting baskets here, just finding out. We've still got a lot of treats from Christmas that have been gifted to us, so they're kind of going in there. Oh, let me move out of the way. I keep trying to find home for, for things. I found a Ziploc bag of crackers that we've started and I've got a crackers um, tin that was in the pantry cupboard here. So I'm going to pop these in here and that's something else then to come out of the pantry space in there. How's it going? Not too bad, we're almost getting it full. It's got to be all full. We need to now go and buy some more drink. Oh, we've got the baby shams as well. Oh, oh. okay. Do you were they going there? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to pass them over? Thought we were going to put condiments in the bottom. We're not going to. No. Put... No, just well, there drink. Be, there's a bottle shelf back there, but no, I think cider. 
Okay. At the moment, well, we've also got more space in there now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. And my next job is sorting out under here. I've got snacks in that basket, cereals now behind. And I'm thinking the pink basket next to this one, but consolidate all these jars into the one basket. That is better. Two baskets and I've got rid of these two here. Actually, Aid, I've yeah. just realised I've got space for another basket, which means I can take the baking stuff out of the cupboard by the mugs. Check that fits. No. What was there before? So I've got that one there, and then I've just emptied this one here, so that could go there for now. And what I was thinking was maybe emptying some of this because the baking stuff doesn't actually get used that often. Got icing sugar there at the back, but I will keep this one here because that's got like baking powder and things which does get used. And my plan is to organize all of this a little bit better. So I've got all my baking bits here. I need to top up on chocolate chocolate chips, I've got icing sugar, cocoa powder, these are baking bits, and this is dried fruit and also um, anything almondy. Um, I've got slices and I've got almond, ground almonds as well. And then in this one I have got nuts, seeds, and I've got split peas and dried beans as well. I've got a spare box which I'm going to use for noodles. And rice. I'm sure I've got a spare pasta somewhere. I wonder. I wonder if my jar. Oh, I think I'm just low on things. I think so. I need to fill all my jars up actually. I could put my rice in there. I don't think I've fully stocked up since we've moved in actually. But this will be then for spare pastas and rice and noodles. And I've just been emptying these. These take up so much room. I've popped some in an empty jar. And this was in the living room. Right, the lard is done. I am so, so happy. I'm going to give you a quick look around. You can really see the transformation. I can actually walk in there now. I've just given aid of the grand tour, so you guys are next. Already, isn't that a huge improvement? Aid had so much fun stocking that fridge. We definitely need more wine and Prosecco, don't we? And Ada did, did actually say, once we've got the things on the wall, it would have been quite nice to have a wine rack down the side. I quite like that idea, but the plan is eventually to have work surface going across and proper shelving in here. So this is just the fix for now. Just take you around the corner. Doesn't that look so much better? I can actually get in here and walk. I am so, so much happier. So drinks, fridge, microwave, a couple of trays down the side, and then we've got the bread basket, and then we've got some treats and I'm just going to pop my menu, my weekly menu on there for now. We've got pre-baked bread and some other treats. These are all kind of treats really, cereal bars, biscuits and things. These are spices. These are condiments, um, ketchups and things in there. And this is my spare flour and sugar because it lives in jars in my pantry cupboard down here. I have got spare jams and things, marmites. Again, all the ones on the go are actually in the pantry cupboard. A couple of pot noodles for emergencies and cupcake cases and cutters. In here, also more baking. I've got all my spare everything bagel. Again, I've got one on the go in my pantry cupboard. Cupcake, um, not cupcake, these are all cookie cutters, um, candles and things and liners. Here I have got mustards and salts, and this is all my sweet tray syrups, pumpkin spice, we've got caramel, treacle, um, pancake syrup as well, and honey. Honey lives in there as well. These are my Asian sauces. I need to stock up on these. I ran these low before we went away. We have got tea bags and Ovaltine. We have got spray cheese. Let's face that up nicely now. And Ritz tea biscuits. No, not Ritz tea. What are they called? They're just Ritz biscuits, aren't they? Um, I was thinking of rich tea. Um, more. These are my everyday spices that I use a lot of. So if I'm baking, I'll often just take the basket out. Not baking, cooking, sorry. 
pickles, pickled spices, and then I have got stuffing, dried onions, taco shells, yeast and corn flour. Goodness knows how many Christmas puddings. I found another bag of pasta. So I've got pasta, rice and noodles. These are um, beans and nuts. And then that one is baking and dried fruits. At the top there, we've got the panettone, some of eight cups and cookie press. And then on the trolley here, we've got crisps, recipe books, cleaning products and the nuts. At the back there is all a bit of a mess to be honest. We've got a big basket of coffee and then I've got my spare jars for when I make pickles and things and baskets I haven't used. More baskets. The oh sorry, that was a horrible noise. Um spare little cool bag, shopping bags, the cutest Disney tray ever, wraps, cereals. This one is nuts, and then I've got my large wok and pans underneath. But that is it. That is such a huge improvement. It's so nice to be able to walk in. I haven't actually opened this yet. Which side do you open it on? Oh, that one. Oh, that is so fancy. I am so pleased. This feels like such a huge achievement. It really does. And I look forward to getting proper shelves. But for now, this is absolutely perfect for us and it's also meant we freed up space in the fridge we have freed up space in another cupboard because I took my baking bits out of there and I've taken the white shelving from here that will make use in my craft room so yeah I'm really really pleased I am so pleased with that transformation it is so we've been waiting for a while to get it done haven't we yeah. well, those kind of jobs you know when you kind of the fridge has been sat there what for two or three weeks yeah, now it needs to settle <laughs> um but um yeah, I'm going to get some labels. I think things labelled will be fine. And then we'll talk then, I think, in the next few weeks about what shelving we want in there and yeah. go from there. But it's no particular hurry. Like we've said, with moving into this house. We're going to take our time and enjoy what we do. I think as well, actually, thinking about it, there's more important things where we need to spend money at the exactly. moment. Exactly. But I think we've made the most of that space or mm. starting to make the most of that space. Yeah. Um, it's more organised now, whereas I think... When we first got here, it was a case of that, that kind of space where everything just got thrown into. And the fridge so, was a Christmas gift, wasn't it? So, yes. It was very, very helpful. And it'll make a big difference, I think, to the day to day. Yeah, stuff. it just made life easy. As you know, if you follow our vlogs, we have, we've still got it, the, a big American mm -hmm. style fridge freezer. Um, we've still got that, that's in the garage. But um, this fridge here, it's a 50-50 integrated, so it just basically is not huge amounts of space. Especially when, because um, I like to cook so much, so I've always got loads of cooking ingredients. Yeah, so, and of course, we obviously do like our soft drinks as well. And you like your Prosecco. I do. And wine. I and need. I like cider. Um, and it meant just keep going outside for it, so it was really handy. We made extra we, steps. We spoke about it, didn't we? Even before we moved, I know, that we it would be perfect. It, yeah. We almost want to kind of make that into a extension, like of the kitchen area, isn't yeah. it? So it's not just like well, it's a pantry, but it's uh, so it looks pretty as yeah, well. Exactly. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you've got on your list to either declutter, reorganise, or sort out. I'd love to hear. Thank you very much. You. I'll see you on Sunday. I was waiting and for you finishing. We've got a really good vlog coming up Sunday, Have actually. We? Yeah, the castle one. Oh, the castle. Yeah, we find a castle. Yes. It's really cool. So I can't wait to share that with you on Sunday. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.